John Cheehan is laying out the foundations of an adjoining circular house on the tiny 40 square meter site. You have to ask yourself first, what are the monks doing in the house? Essentially what you're looking at are sleeping rooms, two conjoined sleeping rooms. We'd estimate that between four and six people would have slept uh, in a conjoined house of this size. But who were these people? And how did they live? To fill in their story, scientist and 3D visualization expert Gavin Duffy has decided to bring Carla Hillen back to life. He's going to recreate it using high-resolution 3D graphics. Aerial photography allows Gavin to record the overall architecture of the space. And, combined with John Sheehan's excavation data, Gavin can reimagine Cahala Hillen exactly as it was 1,500 years ago. The discovery of these exotic items support an emerging theory. Christian ideas and objects arrived via trade routes which originated in the East. Um, and you could perhaps Gavin Duffy has assembled an early glimpse of Carla Hillen, but he needs the expert's help to reconstruct the site accurately. No, I think it looks great, isn't it, Moss? Excellent, yeah. Um, the, I suppose there would be one or two changes we could make. I mean, the, the door looks spot on, maybe the lintel could be lowered a bit but the main thing about the overall form would be that the roof um, could probably have a steeper pitch they tend to have very steep pitches in this period oh so you have the beaver pot in there that's great and surely they would have kept it in the church yeah that's ireland in the fifth century is an enigma gavin's 3d model will provide history's first window into this period probably of wood despite its diminutive size this simple church site broadcast an unmistakable message. Christianity had arrived. They set out the enclosure, they built their church at the east end, the sort of more sacred side of the site, and then buried their dead in around this church. And that's a quite a radical idea in Ireland, the idea that you're living with your dead. Uh, it's something that you don't get in the Iron Age. It's something that you don't get in the Roman world either. It's a Christian idea. The circular enclosure separated Ireland's first Christians from the profane pagan world outside. They constructed their buildings with local materials, timber, wattle and mud. Although tiny Christian sites like Carla Hillen spread across Ireland throughout the 5th century, they were just another minority faith. But by the 6th century, Christianity began to dominate the pagan gods. 